Hello everybody, this is Kirik here, and today we're playing Noct. Um, there's not a lot to it right now, it's still an early access alpha, and just so you know, this is a shorty part of the review and release series. Shorties usually go to games that I don't feel really deserve the full review. So what it is is a mix of gameplay and a little bit of my thoughts on it, but I don't give it a score or anything. Let's see if there's any servers up. Anything up? Nothing. I didn't expect that. It's a pretty dead game. But there is the single player campaign. We're just going to play a little bit of it. Hey, it's popping up. I'll allow access for that, I guess. Locate survivor. I think I will. Here I am. I have a melee attack. And that's about it. Uh, there's a medkit here on the floor I don't need. You exit outside here and you can kind of see what's going on. Um, there's not a lot to this game, really. So you travel around. I will pick this up. There we go. Got myself a UP7. I honestly don't remember too much of this game. That's the whole map of what I can see right now. So I better head west, I'm thinking. Okay. And basically, it's all a top-down shooter. You use the WSD keys to move, the mouse to aim. Um, and you kind of try to avoid dying is basically what it is there's a little story here that that gives you some uh, some direction but I think the main idea is to go online to people and play together as a group try not to get murdered I got it for extremely cheap I think I got it as part of a humble bundle um, a lot of the game honestly is spent walking I do like the art style I like the concept but I feel like it could have been a little bit more intense. So the one thing I noticed with the AI, and maybe you'll see it on here, is they seem to be slightly aggressive until they're injured and then they try to run away. Um, and basically as soon as they try to run away, they're no longer a threat anymore. That thing said, uh oh. Uh oh, why? Uh, maybe we could check out what's inside here. Nothing. Hold on, nothing. I don't really want to get murdered first off here, but I do want to see if there's any action. Check the map here. Okay, I'm going to keep going north. And see if there's anything out here that's worth uh, checking out. A lot of these buildings have supplies in them and things. Okay, there's something. What's that? A water ration. I will take that. Gives you back health and stuff, I believe. Bam, bam, bam. I wish there was something for me to kill. I haven't seen any enemies yet. Oh, holding F lets me discard things. Kind of a neat system. I'm still trying to figure some stuff out with this game. Oh, pushing tab changes the contrast. I like the black better. The white's a little bit glaring in my eyes. Is this the edge of the map? Oh, there's a dock over here. Let's go check out the dock. It's usually a good sign. Docks have goods, you know? People go there for the stuff. Nothing out here. Nothing out here. Maybe there'll be something on the other direction up here. I just want to see a bad guy, man. See if there's anything in here. SMG ammo, I like it. I like it a lot. It's my kind of stuff. And is this a dead end? Nope, I can go under it. It's kind of hard to tell what's there and what's like what's an obstacle and what's just you know extra. Uh oh, I liked my other gun. I don't want these ones. Mind you, uh... Yeah, I get more ammunition for the SMG, so I'm gonna stick with that. I don't see there's not much out here. On this boat. So I guess I'm gonna walk back. I'll let you know if I find anything worth seeing. 
Okay, here's something I've noticed. The map is spinning. So the... Even standing here, the orientation of everything is changing. Um, the longer you you stay in one place, it seems like the more confusing things get. So I'm going to keep moving here with the hope of finding something to fight, something to blow up. Okay, there we are. There you have it. Check that thing out. Oh god. Okay, see, see, now I've shot it a bit. It runs away. It's like there's no threat here, right? Maybe if I had just been stupid enough not to shoot the damn thing. And reload here. Then I probably would have been alright. I gotta make sure I hit it though. It's kinda hard to hit. It's a big fuck. There you go, and it's dead, just like that. Boom, right? But there's no benefit for me killing it. Like, what did I gain there? Nothing. Right? And that's basically what I find most of this game is. Every once in a while I come across something like that. And you gotta kill it, and it's easy. Easy to kill. No threat with Zare, right? So, my recommendation is for this game, at least now in the alpha stage, I don't recommend it. I don't care if you pick it up for cheap, I beat the game in 45 minutes. I should say I beat the story that it gave me. Um, wasn't that great. It was kind of lacking. And when it was over, I was kind of like, oh, boy, that was it, eh? So even if you get free, I mean, I guess it's worth giving a shot if it's free, but don't buy it. Don't spend money on it. Uh, unless you're trying to hold out hope that when it gets to a full release, it's better than this. Because right now, it's not that great. Maybe with friends online, it might be great, but alone, for especially for people like me who don't get scared, it doesn't bother me too much. See, it said, uh-oh. Now, is there an enemy nearby? Yep. Boom, baby. Get fucked. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching this shorty. Um, there's plenty of videos out there, so go watch some more. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll have even more coming out pretty soon. So, have yourselves a great day, and everybody stay safe.